I cannot tell you how many times and how many methods people have used to make outlines. People have used every idea under the sun to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do outlines in real time using the new viewport compositing. So if you have the new 3.3 alpha, you know that we can actually enable this uh, real time compositor. So make sure you enable that. And then we're going to open up the compositing tab. Again, this is not going to work if you don't have 3.3 alpha. Enable use nodes. And here's how we're going to, you know, add an outline in real time. So uh, basically the idea is we're going to and exploit uh, this alpha channel, which tells us where there are objects. So uh, for this image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an alpha over. This is going to let us put something in the background. So this is already cool. It's a real time thing we couldn't have done before. And I'm going to use another alpha over one for the color of the background and one for the color of the outline. So let's have that be black connect that and then connect this alpha channel. You're going to notice that nothing has really changed except for the background being white. And this is because the black is only exactly where the object is. We need it to go a bit further out. Uh, typically, the way you would do this, and this is not available right now, is using a dilate and a road node. But you can see uh, it doesn't support it. So uh, your boy came up with a little hack. So what we're going to do is we're going to blur the alpha channel. So just add a blur here and you're going to notice that as we increase this, you're going to see kind of like a gradual shadow uh, showing up uh, here because we're blurring uh, where the black can show up. To make this thing solid, take a math greater than node and this is going to kind of let us control the size of this outline, but it's looking a bit wonky. Take the blur, bring it down to a small amount, and then increase the threshold. And you're going to see uh, this is kind of a hacky way for now uh, to add a outline that we can control the size of and the color of. So let me make it more visible. Here's a green and a whatever color outline. This is cool because any object that we add to the scene, as long as it's part of this uh, image, is going to get the same outline with the same thickness. So here I'm just uh, adding some modeling. It will work if we rotate it. Uh, if we add a uh, complicated mesh, however many meshes you want, instances, whatever. Uh, there you go. Real-time compositing outline.